Okay, welcome to the homestead. Thanks for coming to see us. I'm going to give Brenda a hand building a, another small metal shed. Uh, my portion of that at the moment will be basically um, I laid out the bottom framework to figure out what size it was and now I need to go get a, cut a piece of wood um, to set it on. Gives it a better base that way. We'll also take a tarp and wrap the wood with it to help it last as long as possible considering it's sitting on the ground. So right now though, um, I need to go measure real quick. She just told me that she just saw it on the front of the directions that it says three foot by five foot. So it's basically I think it's the same size as the other two metal sheds that we've already put together and have in use now, my fuel shed and the tool shed. This one is going to be a chemical shed um, and maybe some tools for gardening and that kind of stuff. We don't want all of the chemicals to be inside the garage with the cats. So we're going to put that together. But I need to cut out a base for it. I need to get the base screwed down so that we can start building it. So let's go do it. Welcome to the homestead. Glad you're watching. Well, my mic's messed up again today. What we're going to be doing is building a tool shed. It's behind me and I'll unbox it. We do have two other tool sheds. One we keep fuel in and one we keep the tools in. But it's much smaller than the fuel shed, so we actually have the rakes and the hoes and the shovels all in a taller toolbox. I have no idea what I'm saying, so I'm just actually just talking to you. Anyway, we're going to build this particular tool shed for the tools. And the other tool shed we're going to put the chemicals in and get them out of the garage. Things like ortho-7 dust and other type of bug sprays and the ant killers. All of that good stuff is going to go in the other shed when we get it finished. Anyway, to unbox this, I'm going to have to um, uncover all of the, the pieces. And you're going to see what a mess this is going to be. And it's going to take quite a long time because that film has to be removed before we can build the tool shed. Anyway, keep watching. Oh, there's big ants over there. They're like carpenter ants or something, and so I'm going to need to go get some of that ant killer and see about killing those things. One of the things I really like about the Chinese builds is that they give you things. They've given us two pairs of gloves, and this one has sticky stuff on the bottom at the fingertips in order to help remove some of that plastic and to keep your hands safe from the sharp metal. And that's pretty cool. When we built the shelves, they not only gave us gloves, but they gave us mallets. They give you all the tools you need inside the bag. These are really cool gloves. I doubt they'll fit Lee. But... They'll fit me, and I'm going to use them.
Okay, all the parts have numbers on the inside, so I turned them up so we could see the numbers right away. Also, I'll know which ones to try to peel first. You notice it took me a while to peel, <laughs> peel those long ones? Well, let me tell you, these gloves helped. Just rub, and they started to peel. I didn't have these gloves last time we built, and it was picking it with my fingernails. It was not fun. This is much, much easier. Still gonna take a long time. I told you, they said two people, two to three hours. One person to build it, one person to peel this plastic off of every single sheet. Anyway, got a lot of stuff to peel, so I'm gonna get busy. Okay, I've confirmed it's roughly three by five. It's a little, uh, a little less than three, but that's all right. I think I'm going to make the plywood bottom or the, the base probably three and a half feet by five and a half feet. That gives a few inches all the way around, um, just to make the base a little bit broader. Okay, that should do that. I'll go to the shop. I've got a tarp over there for this. Um, maybe go get my staple gun. We'll wrap it with a tarp, staple it down, then go screw the frame to it. Okay, Mike's messed up again. I don't know why it comes in and it goes out. But anyway, I moved my chair into a shady area because I was sitting on that bench and my back started hurting, so I'm going to sit in this chair and be more comfortable and get out of the sun. This is taking a long time.
This one was so hard to peel. It took forever, almost an hour. The little pieces kept breaking, and I just kept having to pick at it and pick at it. My camera died. I, it took so long. So, huh, hopefully the next ones will go well, and we'll get this stuff done. Anyway, let's do it. The solid part here goes on the bottom to protect the bottom. This will be what's on the inside.
Okay. We're just about done. And yet it has taken all day long. About six hours. They said two to three hours. No, six hours to get this all cleared up and all that film off so we can start building the shed, which we're not building today because it is too late. So you know what to do. Press that like button and share, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff that you need to do. Comment if you would, and we will see you next time on The Homestead. Bye-bye.